sometimes I put that aside and then I don't look at it. How can I say like, you know, we all I guess have insecurities about ourselves. It's not complimentary and I feel like I'm like, I don't know, vomiting. and I'm up and ready we are going to go to the supermarket today and then I have some filming to do later on but we're doing this first thing in the morning and I'll I don't have too much to buy but I still just like going it's like an outing uh, let me show you guys my outfit today so I'm just wearing this like a zip up crop jacket that I got recently from I think it was X plus wear and then I'm wearing my jeans and then I'm just gonna wear sneakers so nice and cash but like I really like this jacket so I, I haven't hauled it yet but you guys will probably see that video before you guys see this anyway and normally I don't wear my stuff before it showed to you guys but now I was like you know what spring is here and it's gonna start getting warm and I wasn't sure exactly when I'm doing the video so I just wanted to get some wear of it so I am here's Chip hi mommy I swear he always like knows when I'm going somewhere but Chippy you're going to stay home today it's only for an hour or so we'll see you when I get back bit of Angus at the supermarket picking some potatoes some of your salads <laughs> I'm back from the supermarket we spent forever there literally like two and a half hours to go there come home be there and it's 10 minutes from my house uh, but we spent well my sister had to get something from Aldi uh, we had to go to Coles as well and then we went to Woolies so and literally these I don't know the the checkouts at Woolies slow i'll just say that um i only got a couple of things uh i i ran out of my whipped cream i really like having this handy like i feel like it, for a quick dessert it goes with everything like if you have strawberries i put a bit of whipped cream and i feel like it's a dessert uh on my cookies like i just feel like it helps <laughs> things feel like they're desserts i got some bread because it's bread it comes in handy i also got bread rolls because i want to make burgers today so i thought that would come in handy and then I've got some of these like beef patties. These ones are my favorite because I feel like they're meatier. Uh, and this peppercorn brand, I like them. There's about six pieces in here. They are tiny though, like you can tell. So sometimes I'll just like to have two because then when you squish them down, uh, they still stay small. I got an onion for my burgers. I got garlic because I didn't have any left. And I got a couple of dog foods for Chippy. So this was literally like a a dash in dash out kind of a shop for me. I didn't buy much. Next week I'll probably need to like top up on other stuff. And I always love looking at these, like, the magazines that they give you for free. This one is very, like, vegan kind of friendly, meatless. So there's some things that I actually may want to try out. So when I do, I will share it with you guys because they actually look pretty good. And some of the salads, I, I really like salads now coming, like, summer. So I'll just, sometimes I put that aside and then I don't look at it and it throws it out. But I'm going to put it here and hopefully I remember to make some stuff on it. It is Sunday morning. I just had my shower, washed my hair, and thought I'd just blow dry my hair rather than letting it sit there. And then I thought, you know what? What if I tried that method that I did with the like curling wand where I curled it and then I put the like Velcro rollers in my hand, gave it that really nice kind of bouncy curly look. And I thought, let me try it with my brush because normally I just like to use my brush to kind of kind of not curl but you know give a bit of a bounce to my hair like once i've washed it and blow dried it because uh, i'm that person who i don't like to like use a curling wand on my hair if my hair is like freshly clean uh so normally i do this and i thought you know what let me put a velcro in there and then as the usual whilst i'm doing my makeup you can see my hair and hopefully there's a bit of a bounce and i'm hoping it's gonna stay because today we are doing the live and it is like super it's like 8 30 in the morning now so i'm doing my hair and the live's not till six so i'm hoping my hair's gonna stay okay until then because we are driving down to Wollongong to visit my friend so we also have that you know but you know in the car like your hair leans back you ruin your hair but you know we want to look a bit decent for the live because i've never done a live before i'm actually I haven't thought about it too much, but when I do, I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit nervous because, you know, you guys see me, but I edit some of the stuff out and, like, how can I say, like, you know, we all, I guess, have insecurities about ourselves and um, my biggest insecurity is my tics that I have and whilst 
it does, I'm sure it comes across on camera because I can't hide them all the time, but I do try and edit them out quite a bit, especially in the taste testing videos. Like I find a lot of the time there, um, because I'm not concentrating on keeping them at bay, they just kind of run loose. Uh, and you know, it's just something that's part of me, but it is a different insecurity that I have. And mainly because I have had people like approach me in the past and say to me, I had someone once say to me, I thought you were on drugs because you roll your eyes like that. And I was like, what? And if you know anything about tics, you know they're involuntary. And half the time, I don't even know that they're actually happening. And therefore, like, I don't notice them. And then when I watch myself back on camera, I'm like, wow, that's... And actually, I feel like that's how I discovered that they came back again because I did have them as a child. Uh, growing up, I had, like sort of uh, minor tics but mainly on my face, rolling my eyes, touching my nose and stuff like that. And then I do feel like kind of a little bit through my teen years, I would say I, I had kept it at bay. Uh, and then most of like my adult life and then they've, it's come back recently and it's kind of, I feel like gotten a little bit worse. So I feel like in my like early twenties, I feel like I didn't really have it. And now that I really think about it, perhaps it's got something to do with my health. And I have like, you know, read about it and stuff like that. And like, I am trying to cut out some things from my diet now, uh, just to see if that's actually going to help. Because I do feel like in my like early twenties, I don't remember like having them. Like I must have figured out somehow to like keep them at bay. And now it's just, as I'm getting older, it's kind of, you know, I feel like it really interferes with how I perceive myself and me wanting to be, my hand is getting a bit sore here, me wanting to be, you know, like on camera with you guys and I thought I'd share that. I mean, this is definitely going to come up after that and, you know, I don't know if I can answer questions while we're doing lives, but anyway, I thought I'd share a little bit about my life because I feel like sometimes we might put a personality out there but on camera and then when you see someone in real life you're like oh they don't really look like that so I try and do my best like I always share with you guys a lot of like my insecurities which is you know I mean I feel like that way it's, we're kind of I'm relatable to you guys because like I'm just your regular person but anyways back to this while my hand is sitting here so what I'm doing is rolling it on this brush then zipping it with the brush And then whilst it's still warm, I'm taking this out and then I'm just popping the Velcro and that end bit like keeping the curl in the same spot. My hair is relatively dry, like I did do a rough, you, I'm sure you can tell I did a rough blow dry and it's like pretty much like 98% dry. It just probably has like a little bit of dampness to it. But I'm going to go ahead and do this in my hair and I'm just going to keep going and then I will catch up with you guys when we're done. Because I did like larger sections, it's starting to kind of fall out. It was a little bit time consuming, I will say. I actually feel like with the hair curler, it's quicker because you just like do the quick curl, grab it and put it in. So I feel like I'd probably prefer to do it that way. I'm going to put a bit of hairspray. Oh, I don't even have any. I've had this one. It looks like an Audi one for years because I just stopped using hairspray. I used to use so much hairspray back in the day, but because I wanted to keep its hold, I'm going to pop a little bit on there. But then I'm also going to put the Schwarzkopf thing in the roots to keep the volume as well. But we'll do that when we take it out. So I've got a little bit of time. I might make myself a coffee and then get to doing makeup. This hair just doesn't want to stay out of my face. You know, I have to paint these walls at some stage. I really don't like the green background with me. I just feel like... It's not complimentary and I feel like I'm like, I don't know, vomiting. No, maybe not. <laughs> I just put on primer. Uh, I just did the Revlon Prime and Plus. It's a nice primer. It's nice and blurring. And I'm going to do my Estee Lauder because this is a all day stay. I'm just going to use my hands because I feel like that's how I use up less product because it's quite an expensive product that I don't want it to be all over my sponge. And this is like the good old school way of putting on makeup. We used to use our hands. Pretty much the only brushes I had were like for blush. We didn't even like really do bronzer back those days. A blush and some eyeshadow. And remember when we were younger, I don't think they exist anymore. I was looking in my thing. The little paddle things that, that we used to have as like an eyeshadow brush. That little, 
you know that little flat thing i guess they got rid of those nowadays because you don't see them i'm sure i don't have one no and they used to come as part of like your makeup see if you bought like a little eyeshadow duo or something you would come in there that little like brush thing on my jiggy i mean still did the job didn't it i guess the difference is with that you can't really do the like blendy because now we like to start in the crease and do like blendy and you get a lot more of your eye done but also like it's a little bit more sparingly but whereas that would have been very uh concentrated but i suppose if you went with like a lighter shade it wouldn't be too bad like i don't, I don't know i mean pff, we were fine back then i do look back at some old pics and i'm like oh geez i really didn't care that much i think i was mainly concerned about foundation and I did put foundation on my neck back then too. I think I was making sure I always blended. <laughs> and I feel like mascara is something that's always been in like ever since like people were doing makeup. So like they were the important things to have. Like when I'd go on holidays, the thing I would always make sure I bought was like some a really nice mascara because I was like, wow, we need to have those eyelashes happening. And then we would have like an eyeshadow kit that lasted forever because it's eyeshadow. They mainly do. It didn't have like 5 million different palettes. You'd have the one kind of neutrally one and that's the one you used. And when I say way back, I'm talking about like not even that long ago, like maybe 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> So I really got into my podcast that I was listening to and then I was like, wasn't I vlogging? So pretty much I have most of my makeup done besides the lips. I did use my Tardy palette. I know this is like discontinued and you can't get any more, but I really, really do love it. And uh, if you guys follow Tati, I think a lot of people still do. Um, she, she was saying like how she's not doing that anymore, but I reckon she will like give it a, a bit more time into the future. I think she would because she's really good at it. But I'm also, whilst I have been doing my makeup, I'm just packing some of it away. I use my Jaclyn. I really, really love this. I love the duo. This one is the Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. But I just love the bronze and blush duo. So, love it. Uh, so, I'm bringing that along. I'm just bringing, up, bringing along some things like I put my lashes on. So, I've got lash glue, um, some powder to touch up later. Just to, like, make sure that my face is looking okay <laughs> later. <laughs> Also, of course, from Wollongong, I'm probably going straight to my sister, so I won't be coming home. So I have to make sure I bring everything along. It is going to be the evening when we film, and you guys know I hate filming in the evening, but we do have a light, so hopefully that's going to work for us. Fingers crossed, I do hope it works out, because I'm kind of excited about it, because we've never done it before, and I figured if it works out well, I hope there's people, I hope you guys are there. Um, and if it works out well, we can do it more regularly, or even like maybe I can do like now where I'm putting on my makeup, getting ready. Uh, with you guys and maybe that will like cover if I do like a morning one it might cover people who are overseas because sometimes the timing for a live is really hard to get and most when I looked at my audience most of my audience is from Australia so I'm going now by like more of the Australian time and where more people were available like on a Sunday because uh, normally I don't see like it's been a while now yeah I don't see my sister and Angus on Sunday like they do their own little couple thing so we've we've changed our weekends this weekend to do the Sunday so I hope you guys appreciate and I do hope you guys are there I did put, put something in the stories uh, on my Instagram just to like remind people because you forget these things like it happens I did want to wear pink lipstick today so I'm going to use my Australis lip liner I'm going to line my lips the lipstick will eventually come off anyway so I will have to reapply that but I love pink lipstick and I'm just going to use my Clinique oh, this one it's nearly out it's just so nice and creamy and I think I feel like because I'm someone who I don't have lips as you guys can tell like I overline them but even when I overline them they're still not that big because I don't really have any so I feel like a little bit of like a color just kind of make I don't know I like that look because when I do nude I feel like I'm nude and I don't even have lips to begin with I feel like if you have nice lips the nude looks nice because you already have a shape of a lip but you know that's just me <laughs> Um, I pop that in here. I pop the lip liner. I don't think I need gloss. I might bring my cover stay one since we're eating. That's the thing. You don't really know what you're going to need. But um, I've st I haven't really been using highlighter as much. But you know what? Let's put a little bit of highlighter on because I feel like I don't really use it. And especially during the day. Like I feel like I'm a little bit too done up. But, you know, I also want to take like a pick as well. I can hear Chippy grumbling. 
<laughs> Alright. Make a bizarre. I'm just going to spray some setting spray and then we're going to look for an outfit. I nearly forgot about you guys, but I'm dressed. I'm wearing this cardigan from Bubble Don, which I haven't done the review yet. But I'm loving it and I'm sure the review will go up before this. And I've chosen to wear it with this like purple skirt. I like the look of the pastels. And then I have on these like cowboy boots because it's still a bit cool. I'm not ready for sandals yet because I feel like because I'm going to my friend's house, it'll be cold. But that is the look for today. So I will catch you guys probably a little later. So we just got back from Wollongong. Oh, my friend's baby so cute. So little, but so cute. I was, it was so enjoyable. She fed us so much. Like, I am so stuffed. I'm so glad we have a couple more hours <laughs> until we're doing the taste testing. Because I don't think I could eat anything else. And I want to be, like, honest in the taste testing. So, hopefully, I've got about two hours. So that should be okay. I just came home to pick up Chip and then like just change my outfit into something a bit more comfy. And yeah, so I'm going to grab Chip now and we're going to head on over to my sister's. Hey guys. So I'm back now from my sister's place. The live went really well. I feel like it went well. We had a good time with my sister and Angus. I'm so stuffed from everything we ate. It was just so much. I was meant to record a little bit. I wanted to share with you guys like a little bit of the behind the scenes. However, when we got there, uh, we were watching rugby. So Angus's like favorite team was playing, uh, the Roosters, and they were playing against the Souths, which is like a, their big rival team. And it was like a really tough match. And um, literally it was meant to be like to the minute. So we're watching that. And then literally like that kind of finished five minutes into when we went to start. But I had set up anyway, like everything was set up ready to kind of to go. But then I had technical difficulties because I was trying to jump on via Safari and the, my safari just it said it does not support the browser so then i had to jump into chrome which i don't usually use on my computer but then like all my loggings had to find my logging and my password and all that so that took a little bit of time and because i'd never done live before but i hope everyone did enjoy it because we had a good time and now like uh we want to we want to do this semi-regularly like you know kind of every now and then i feel like it would be fun to do if not if it's not food maybe we'll do drinks or something else someone even suggested a mukbang i think my sister wasn't too fond of that idea but you know there are things that we could do so i think that would be fun and it's fun when i have people to chat to maybe even alive with diana so that would be fun as well hello little boy <laughs> he was just downstairs with his grandparents. I think it was pretty good. I uh, hope everyone who's watched it afterwards also enjoyed it. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, like, comment, subscribe, share, all the rest. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.